What's up everyone? This is Erica with Hooking You Up and today we're going to be doing a fun little project. It is this, I'm going to just call it a coin pouch because I'm not really sure um, what I plan to use it for. However, um, I have thought about possibly instead of using like a no envelope, I've thought about when I'm sending out packages, I can put my business card in there, sticker, and keychain. I thought that would be so adorable. I love that idea. Anyways, so if you would like to purchase something from my shop, uh, you might get one of these. So anyways, you can use these for anything. You can use them for a coin pouch, pudding. I don't think they're big enough for a phone unless you make it much bigger. Um, this one's slightly bigger because the weight of the yarn was bigger. Um, however, uh, you can make them in any size you want. These are super easy. So what you're going to need is you're going to need three colors you're going to need um, some for the you're going to need brown a mustard and any kind of base color you would like to use you'll also need a button I have a ton of different kinds of buttons in here um, just pick a button that you like and let's go ahead and get started I'm going to be using a size 5.75 millimeter hook. I always use this size. I'm ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. Use whatever size hook you want. So anyways, let's get started. We're going to start by taking the brown yarn, making a slip knot, and we're going to chain five. We're going to slip in that first stitch by the tail, chain two, and now we're going to do 12 double crochet in the center hole. A lot of my projects are sunflowers because I'm sunflower obsessed, so if you've seen many of my videos already, then you're probably a master at making sunflower granny squares. Um, I'll likely do a, another video on a daisy version. And the reason I usually do like separate videos of, of kind of the same design or same pattern is because not everyone is subscribed to my YouTube channel. So anytime someone new comes to my channel, they may just be coming for that specific video. So while someone might find my channel or find my video or tutorial on how to make a sunflower coin pouch, um, they might not be interested in my other videos. So that's typically why I do similar videos. Um, anyways. Now, once you have 12 double crochet, we're going to slip on the top of that first double crochet. I like to pull this tail in as far as I can. The center hole won't close all the way, but that's okay. Cut off. Let's get this out of here. 
Now we're going to bring in our mustard color for our petals. All right, we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to enter it on the top of that first double crochet and pull our slip knot through. Chain one, and I like to tie my tails for extra security. Chain two, now you're going to yarn over, insert in that same hole, pull the loop through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert in that same hole, pull the loop up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, pull the loop up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and once you have four, loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all four chaining one in between each petal you're going to mimic now working in the next stitch and it's going to be the same until you have 12 total petals pull through one pull through two yarn over insert pull the loop up yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over insert Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four. Chain one, and I'll meet you guys once we have 12 petals. All right, just worked my last one. Now I'm going to slip on the top of that first petal. Clip, get this out of the way. Now I'm going to bring in my base color also going to make a slip knot we got a trend going here and I'm going to insert it in the middle of you can start anywhere usually I like to start where I always leave off so I'm going to start in the middle of these two petals bringing my slip knot through chain one again I like to pull that tail tight and loop it to make a knot for extra security now we're going to chain two excuse me three yarn over insert and we're making a double crochet double crochet and we're working our first corner chain one three more double crochet chain one now in the middle of the next two petals we're going to do three double crochet chain one again three double crochet in the middle of the next two Ooh. chain one and now we are working our next corner it's going to consist of three double crochet two three chain one three more double crochet in that same hole and as you can see we're working our second corner we are now working we now have both our corners with two sets of three double crochet in the middle of these two corners and we're going to mimic that going forward so now we're going to work three double crochet in the middle of the next two petals. Chain one, three double crochet. Chain one, and now we're working our third corner. And I'll meet you guys at the end. Once you have finished that last double crochet, now you're going to slip on the top of that first double crochet we started, slip in the second, and then also slip in that chain one space. And the chain one space is where you'll chain two and start working in between those three double crochet. Now we're working our second row. So again, we're going to do two double crochet, with that chain three
three, making three double crochet. Chain one. No. All right, chain two. Now in that the center of these two sets, we're going to do two more sets of three double crochet. So that chain two will count as one double crochet. Now we're working the other three in the same hole. Chain one. And now for our second row to our fifth row, we are just going to do two double crochet for the sides. And now for our second to our fifth row for the side, for the sides, we are just going to do two double crochet. We'll still keep the three double crochet sets for the corners, but for the middle sides, we're just going to do two double crochet. So if you turn your piece to the side, you'll see one, two, three, four, five rows total. So you'll keep working in the round until you have five. If you want this pouch to be bigger, you can make more rows. If you want it smaller, you can make less rows. However, I'm sticking to five rows. So as you can see, just our first beginning row has three sets of double crochet in the round. For the second to the fifth, you can see we kept our three sets of double crochet, but for the sides we have two sets of we have two double crochet sets in the middles so i hope that makes sense anyways we are going to continue working so now i am working my second row second corner i'm making two sets of three double crochet with our sides having two and now we're going to do two double crochet two double crochet two double crochet and once you get back to where you started at the end of each row, you're going to remember to do this at the end of each row. Slip in that first double crochet, slip in that second, and also slip in that chain one space. Then you'll chain two and you'll begin working your next row. So we're going to do a total of five rows and I'll meet you there. Just finished my last row, so as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do my last slip, and I'm going to cut off a lengthy tail. Okay, I already cut off my my ends all right now it's going to be folded like this Okay, so what we're going to do is attach our tapestry needle. And because we ended on the chain one space, you're going to pick either side to do first. You're going to find that chain one space and insert your tapestry needle under both. Pulling through. Now you can see we have this even crease. 
So you're going to make sure it's lined up neatly. So I'm going to put it on the top of just through one loop and you're doing the outside loop. So as you can see, we're not going through these inside loops, we're going through the outside loops on each side. So now I'm going on the top of that second double crochet on both sides and now I'm working the last one going through the chain ones as well. You're going to go all the way down. Once you go through that last one, you're just going to insert your hook anywhere and then weave in the inside. I like to pull it just a little bit and then you can Weave in the end. All right, flip it back in. And now we're going to do the other side. So this is the center. And what we're going to do is cut off some yarn. Insert in that chain one space in the middle. Bring your working yarn through. I like to just tie a knot. Insert my tapestry needle and you're going to mimic the same side starting with that chain one space. Alright, so I'm so pretty. Now we're going to bring out our smaller tapestry needle and we're going to cut off a short tail. Now we're going to insert the button, the best part. Alright, so it's super easy. You just insert through the back first. Now insert back through the other side. You have to use a smaller one because this p this part is not going to go through the through the holes. And then I just tie the back. Tie it kind of tight so the button doesn't fall off later on. And there you go. Now the center of those double crochet sets will go through. Super, super cute. All right, you guys, I will be doing a daisy version so be on the lookout for that it'll be the same method only we're going to be doing a daisy granny square so thank you guys so much for tuning into my video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button because it would really help your girl out and until next time peace